want to talk to you today about this. This is Doc. This specifically right here is broadleaf duck or bitter duck. I've got it all over here. I'm right next to my I'm right next to my carport rabbit chicken compost system and back here is a Montmorency cherry tree. I think this is a Montmorency cherry tree. It's a sour cherry. Anyway, uh, I've got it right here and I want to tell you a little bit about it. This is what some people call a weed and I've got it all over the place over here, but I actually like it because like comfrey, it's got that deep tap root that goes down deep and mines minerals. One of the differences between this and the comfrey that I have, I've got mostly bucking four variety of comfrey. One of the differences is that this is not sterile. This will go to seed and will spread like crazy. Comfrey will not go to seed the comfrey that I have, the hybrid variety, will not go to seed and it'll stay right where it is unless you till it up or you plan to root cutting. I'm going to cut a leaf of it off here and get a little closer for you. Here's the leaf and it comes up. Uh, I've got two different varieties. I'll take you and show you another variety that I have over here. Uh, it's just curly dock. I actually have burdock around here as well. Uh, it's the ones that create all those burrs uh, and uh, can be kind of a pest because we have critters running around and gets the, you know, in the critters fur, especially the dogs. But what I really like about this is that this is, and you correct me if I'm wrong, those of you who might know better, uh, from what I've read and what I've been told, you can feed this to rabbits and you can feed it to the chickens and you can also just use it for chop and drop. So I'm going to take some in here in just a few minutes and feed it to the rabbits and you know, you'll see them eating it hopefully and that's going to save me on feed. All through this winter I've been having to feed them, since I'm not ready to start doing other things yet, I've been having to feed them rabbit pellets. I could go with like seeds and things like that. Uh, there's a mix of your own that you don't have to use the rabbit pellets, but uh, I've had to buy food for them which is, you know, it ends up being kind of expensive. But that's okay because uh, they're dropping all of this poop down here and I'm using that to fertilize my garden. And and I'm getting meat from it. We did a video this last week about butchering a rabbit, so that's okay. Uh, but uh, since this is right here around the chickens and the rabbits, then during the summer I can just keep on harvesting this and give it to the rabbits and the chickens and you know create a little bit of extra feed and they can you know turn that over and create compost for me, which is one thing that I want here. But also uh, when you have these young leaves, uh, tender leaves like this, uh, you can cook them and they're very nutritious for you. They're very edible for human consumption. You can just saute them or you can eat them raw. Uh, this is bitter in the states. We don't really like bitter greens all that much most of the time. They're not really very popular here, uh, but uh, we have them here and I really like it because it just grows up and I can feed it to the chickens. So I use my pocket knife, one of the handiest tools on the homestead. It's a serrated blade and I just get in here like this and just chop it like I do the comfrey. And I've got a little bit of it over here. There's some bigger bits of it uh, further over there next to the chestnut tree and the Asian pear and the persimmon over here. But uh, I'm just gonna get this for now. I'm gonna take it in here and I'm gonna feed some to the chickens and we'll feed some to the rabbits so you can see how they like it. So it's pretty obvious that we're in the chicken pen now. You can hear the very loud hen. Maybe she just laid an egg. It's still warm. I'm gonna take this, about half of this, and put it on the ground and see if the chickens uh, gobble it up. Now they've not had a whole lot of green uh, all winter because again, it's been winter. But uh, the plan is for this summer and this spring is to you know get them a lot of the weeds from the garden that we don't want and then a lot of this other stuff over here. So I've got a lawnmower that's got a bag on the back of it that I can mow and collect the, the grass and the clippings and stuff and I can just bring that in here and it'll be really great. I've also tried to contact some uh, lawn services here locally and said if they want to dump anything, if they collect the lawn clippings, then I'd be glad to take them back here. The problem with some of that is there are some chemicals in it sometimes so I might have to just step most that aside and let it compost but there's no chemicals back here so I can feed anything that I gather up back here uh, to the chickens and the rabbits and stuff uh, not as much to the rabbits because they can get bloat but check out how they eat this dock these are all those in this one I'm probably gonna end up butchering a few of those I separated them just so I didn't have any accidental impregnations
So they're not hungry right now because they've got all the pellets that they've wanted, uh, but this is nice and fresh and green. Uh, so they're over here looking at it some and you can see one chewing on it just a bit. But Doc is one of those things that you can feed rabbits. There are some things that you can't. Comfrey, I plan on, since I've got lots of comfrey here, and I wanna propagate some more. I am planning on feeding them a lot of comfrey and also this Doc and some other weeds as well. In addition, probably to keeping rabbit pellets here for them all the time, uh, but they can choose what they want. A couple of you asked about eggs, and um, we're getting probably a couple dozen eggs every day from our chicken compost carport system here. Uh, there are six, eight in here, and I count three over here, another nest box, and two or three up there, uh, one that I showed you a minute ago, and it's still pretty early in the afternoon. We'll probably end up getting another two dozen, and we collected all of them yesterday, so there wasn't any in here last night or this morning. They're producing for us. That's another one of the wonderful things about having chickens, and if I get too many of them, and I I can't sell them. I'm just kind of cook them and give them back to the hens. They really love it because it's high protein and it's very nutritious for them as well. We've had some rain around here and therefore it's all wet and muddy again. We've got to do some work on the you know, path and road over here. Uh, but uh, I hope you saw, look, there's more dock right here. Look, there's some more. Uh, there's some more dock right there and some more dock here and there's a bunch of it over there as well Before I left the rabbit chicken compost carport system over there all the stuff that I gave to the chickens was gone now, The rabbits were still eating on it, but that's really good. That's what I wanted I think that this might be a North Star cherry right here and uh, Right at the base of it. I've got a whole lot more of this bitter dock or broadleaf dock But over here next to this peach tree I think it is which by the way is starting to bud out. I don't know if you can see any of these uh, Any of this green on here starting to leap out uh, here in another month that everything's going to be completely green it's pretty amazing how fast it goes from everything being dead no leaves whatsoever to everything having all sorts of leaves and stuff on it which i really like that time of year because uh, there's all sorts of fodder available then but right here next to this peach tree i think it is uh, there's some broadleaf dock on the other side and then there's some curly dock right here so curly dock is eaten more often than the broadleaf dock and i can tell the difference in the way it feels this feels tenderer and you eat most Mostly the tender leaves uh, but I can take this right here I can feed it to the chickens I can feed it to the rabbits uh, both the curly dock and the broadleaf dock and I can also take it inside and I can saute it or put it in stews or something like that and it's kind of like spinach in there especially the curly dock the bitter dock is a little bit more bitter but both of them uh, are very nutritious these are daylilies and I love these I uh, moved several of them over next to some of my trees uh, hopefully they'll they'll take I just moved the bulbs underneath uh, because uh, they make some really delicious flowers and also the tubers are like fingerling potatoes if you like things like this identifying some of the things around here and talking about some of the things that you can eat and you can use around the homestead uh, that you don't have to plant that just grow like weeds how weeds are beneficial and that's what you want to grow if you like things like that then subscribe to our channel uh, like this video and keep on coming back make sure whenever you subscribe that you hit that notification bell and select all so you never miss a notification and come back every two Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, and on Sunday nights, we do a live stream on YouTube at 8 p.m. Central Time that we'd love to have you at. Thanks.